Hurt. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> like a savage. No one have mercy. Hey, yeah. Oh, actually. Where Wait. Did that first one work out? I don't know. Uh, uh, it's. Oh, I mean, oh, okay, okay. Did it, it, yeah, yeah, okay. Thing to the end, okay, so it'd be, it'd be 18, 18, 21. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> it's funny, you rolled the highs and think the rigging didn't help you. <laughs> so are we doing okay, Count you? Yeah, uh, a few rough patches, but you guys do manage to get above the storm. <laughs> And you can see it below you, dark clouds and thundering and whatnot. It's like we're on the ocean. It kinda is, yeah. At this point, I'm gonna come back up and see why there's no, like, really loud thunder cracking out around us. Just, just us. But, I mean, above you can see the beautiful night sky and the almost full moon. I don't think harpies don't get to see much, because we don't, I don't, well, at least I don't. I didn't fly up that high usually. Sky above the clouds. Uh, I think Brandon's starting. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm back. I'm just trying to mute my microphone when David's up there freaking drilling through the floor or whatever. Or whatever. <laughs> it's hyper freaking annoying. It's 10 o'clock at night. Autumn is supposed to be sleeping. Why is he up there working on the damn thing? <laughs> yeah, that, that would be a problem. Once. <laughs> Me. That would be more of a problem. From last night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like in Derby's. I hope that someone does contract like a Derby. I want Lauren to be a wear human. A wear human like a <laughs> 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 That'd be so It's just like full moon coming, just as a normal dude. Oh man. Damn it. Damn, Damn it, Bobby. <laughs> So we're about we're You're above where Hank Hill. <laughs> You're where Hill. <laughs> so we're above the storm, right, Kurt? Yes, you are above the clouds. All the clouds. It's very beautiful. You got the night sky that's drooping towards the horizon. Mirage will come up and take a look. Kind of sits on the bow on the banister a little bit. Looks out over the edge. Hmm. Definitely something you don't see every day. Oh, there's this one time deep in the woods, but that's another story. <laughs> deep in the woods, you saw a view from above the world, like no, 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 no. no he was that high. I was that high. Oh dear lord. <laughs> <laughs> of the dryad, but that's another story. Like <laughs> the dryad. So, Kurt, how long do we have until we get to our destination? Give me a sec. Oh, such low res. Never mind. Uh, guys. Guys are, I think, you've only got two more days to you there? Well, technically one day. No. Hang on a second. Sierra just got home. Give me one second. Oh, shit. Yeah. Mirage, did I ever tell you that story? Story? Dryad. Dryad. Huh? I don't think you did then. Tell you one day. Just know that it was a wasted six years of my life. A wasted six years of your life. Persuasive than you. <clears throat> That's fair. Unfortunate, but fair. I don't remember most of it. Just that her tree was eventually cut down by some absent-minded goblins. So 
sorry. I'm so, so trying to figure out what the fuck he's doing. Like, a part of me wants to go up there and be like, Dave, what the fuck are you doing at 10 o'clock at night? Autumn is supposed to be sleeping. But by the other token, I'm just like, you know what? I'm not even going to question He can do what he wants. <laughs> yeah, well, the dude is freaking dementia-ridden as heck. Rude. No, nine times out of ten, he doesn't remember anything. It's only rude if it's untrue. <clears throat> yeah, tomorrow I'm going to ask him what he was doing, and he's going to be like, I didn't do anything. I'm going to go in the bathroom, and like half the toilet's going to be missing again. <laughs> again? Oh, dude, you, you don't even understand. Like, legit, one day um, I woke up at 8 o'clock in the morning because there was a jigsaw running. No, I'm sorry, a sawzall running. And I'm like, why is there a sawzall running downstairs? What the hell? So I get up, I get dressed, and I walk around the corner, and here's David with the sawzall in the middle of all of our pipes that we had just finished running like three weeks prior, cuts the main one in half. And I'm like, what is this for? And he's like, we got to get it ready so that we can replace all the pipes. And I'm like, David, we did replace all the pipes. That's why we have nothing left. That's, there's, there's no pipes left. Oh. Is <laughs> 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 it Uh, No. I didn't see anything. Is it the, I thought it was all timers. I thought dementia is when you see shit. <laughs> well, it's a little bit of both. It's a little bit of both. He's got all timers and dementia. All so he's pretty much screwed. Forgetting because your brain is being dementia is misplacing memories. <laughs> like he'll be in a memory that's so real to him that he'll think that he's in the past or in the present or see someone that he hasn't seen in 40 years or something like that. Honestly, I thought dementia is when you start seeing, like, crazy crap. No. What is that called? Uh, it depends it's on the sources. Yeah. Well, well I know one of, one of my be... friends had a grandma that they had, like, all the mirrors out of her house. Every time she looked in the mirror, the mirror would try to kill her. It reflects in the mirror trying to kill her. That could be a form of uh, schizophrenia. Yeah. That's closer to what it sounds like. If you want to discuss all of those things, just you, uh, talk to Mallory on Facebook. She can explain them to you. She is How's a psychologist. About oh, is she? Yep. Uh, like how the five of us are here, and our other harpies sleeping downstairs, hiding from the storm that we're no longer. Oh no! 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 I, I came up once I stopped hearing the thunder, once I didn't hear thunder cracking around us, but instead below us. Yeah, he he did come upstairs, but he forgot to bring his token up, so I'll just move his little token right there. Oh shit, yeah, because I've been laying down. <laughs> Why are you trying to drop me off to the edge of the boat? Finally, God, that took this. you a long time. It really did. I got lost in conversation about dementia, sorry. You know, that's why we kept on going. Concho? Hi. Look below us. Look down. Uh. You s give me a perception check. This one is going to be for her? Nothing. 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 Perceptions or no? Well, just these two right now. Lawrence will do the same, and no, no. Well, both you can. It, you kind of see where she's pointing. The Oni is pointing. There does seem to be something directly beneath your ship in the storm. Whoa! Oh. Looks like some sort of pole or something. It's very strange. Um, I'm gonna take it. Hmm. That is a very interesting shape to be seeing in the clouds. Hello, with your knowledge of ship history, you could definitely tell it's definitely a mast directly below you. That would be a mast. Shit. <laughs> we should probably get moving just a wee bit fast. Oh, actually, I want to do one more. Uh, 
a perception check real quick, just to see if I can notice a flag on it. Go ahead. Fine. All right. It's hard to say without the storm clouds and, yeah, and the enough. angle of it. Don't, don't, don't make too much noise. Perhaps whatever it will, is will leave us alone. Something that is flying in the middle of the storm is either a very bad thing or a very good at being a very bad thing. Or causing the storm. Silent rigging. I. That is what I'm thinking. Standing by the ballista just in case. If it's a Dutch ship, why not drop me down and I can eat the crew? Louis, at this height, you'd probably die and put a hole through a couple of their floors. Turn into a parachute. I'm sure they'll probably fly away. Not a matter of killing them. They have done nothing wrong at the moment. But we're pirates. We kill. For we're, not we're not pirates. pirates. Pretty much pirates. I, that it is. You see the flag peek above, back in the crow's nest, peek above the uh, storm cloud before anything else. All right. And all of you easily recognize the flag as the colors of Corlon, the human nation that was rivals of Netharia. Oh, so it's non allied. Non allied. I just kind of uh, growl a little bit. They don't appear to be pirates. They appear to be just, you know, a ship much like yours, actually, although a little bit bigger. Orders, gotcha. Hold your ground, lads. Be ready for combat just in case, but we won't no, be Mr. engaging Christian. with the ranged. They might just be trying to escape the storm as well. As your ship continues to rise, as soon as you see the deck pop above the cloud, you do see what appears to be a bunch of humans seem to be trying to get water off the top of the boat, dumping buckets and what have you. Ready's rope. <laughs> ready, Captain, ready, ready. Should we go and signal I'm them ready to, to strike, so offer them get... help and aid? If they pose a threat, I'm going to sneak along the ship and eat them. You s you hear a very gruff voice come through the ship's helm. Beasts of Netheria, say your prayers to whatever profane god you believe in. This is your end. I believe they're hostile. Says the man <laughs> off his ship like a poor person. I you clearly see on one side of the ship three cannons. These are standard cannons. Uh, oh, are, are, are they directly below us? It's coming. It's coming up to your level. It's by, it's getting behind you right now. How far away from? How us far out are they from us? They're uh, a, they're about seventy feet away from you right now. Damn it! I was gonna uh, say. Can I use uh, a gust of wind? Actually, sorry. Give me a second. I'm thinking here. I was gonna say if they're like, like, good. About if they were many? direct below us. What would a uh, alchemist fire uh, bottle of alchemist fire do to their ship? I mean, now because fire is pretty much the bane of ships. Yeah, I, was, I was thinking that, just drop it right on them. Why don't you just fly over to ship and drop it on them? I mean, I, I mean, one of us could. I wouldn't mind it. Oh, I mean, holy oh, shit. Kurt. Yeah? How, 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 many, how long are they away from us in minutes? I mean, they're pretty, pretty close to you, honest. Rap, if I was approaching us. If I yeah. was to be still, would I be considered a rope if they didn't see me? I will. I will let you. They didn't see you transform or move or anything, so I'll let you be disguised as a rope. Okay, I'm just gonna stay in position. If they board, I'm gonna be. Re I'm gonna ready a strike. And if not, I'm gonna sneak on to board if they choose not to, and we end up starting boarding them. All right. All right. Uh, I'm gonna ready either way. Should we prepare ready the to... alchemist droppings? All we need is one, wouldn't we? Just one second, lads. Just. Don't be too hasty. Let us see what we can find out before we attack. And on that, give me just one second here. Alrighty. 
Yes. Okay. Then I'm going to do that. All right. Uh, I'm going to hail out to them. Hail there, traveler. What be your quarrel with us in the skies? We're no travelers. We're hunters of your kind. Hunters of seafarers and skyfarers. Nefarious letting all kinds of wild beasts up in these skies. These skies belong to the humans. The, the skies are, are vast enough that ye humans don't need all of them. We have done you no wrong. We suggest you leave us be. We don't Your kind of ship and wipe you. out the great wars. Perhaps. But today is no day to find out for sure. We mean you no harm. Leave us be. You notice that his ship is attempting to turn broadside. Uh, evasive maneuvers. All right. Permission to... Uh, Give me an initiative check, too, on top yeah, of that. Yeah. Uh, we'll go as Lawrence. Actually, I'll go as Vinto Tempatsta. And we'll go, and we'll go initiative. Kari, Kari. I don't need to do initiative. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't do initiative. Why did Why you do it? I don't know. It you put, you put, from Vinto to Tempatsta? No, uh, it's, Tempata. it's Vinto to me. Oh, is it? It's oh, Kari is it? to me. It's Kari to me, too. <laughs> yeah, same. Thanks. That's Thanks. funny. Thank you, Aloy. Now I know. Too what the hell? All right, I'm going to break the communication line with them. All right, lads and lasses, it look like they be ready for attack. We're going to evade... Engage counterattack. I mean, yeah, they. Mm, I was gonna say, we have four vials. Get a vial ready. Someone with the the stealthy of the skills in the flight be taken to oh, the please. air. Lost and hidden. What, what's my what's spell? Last. I do. Oh, it's plus two stealth, but dex. I have like plus uh, plus two dex. Oh, well, it's either me, the Oni, or Aloy. Aloy? Aloy. I probably said it wrong. Aloy. Aloy, thank you. This ain't no freaking Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> you Aloy, am I right? Would anyone else prefer to do this, or no? Could you hey. a ballista bolt with fire, or a catapult? Could we, could we technically <laughs> wrap it on a ballistic bolt? It bring it bring it with three files. It'd be possible. It's a good skill check. All right, do you want me to? I'll go ahead and start working on those. Thank you. Make sure you don't grab Louie. Or oh God. <laughs> He's right there. I'm gonna point him out. Well, I, I said make sure you don't. This way, Louie doesn't go flying. Oh no no! I'm gonna have a couple of the. I'm gonna run down, grab some of the ballista bolt ammo, and, and you know what you should talk. I <laughs> use Louie to tie the Alchemist Fox to Bolton. That would kill That would. No, he might have. Why? And then you'd have a very angry mimic on the enemy ship. <laughs> an, an angry, on fire mimic. I mean. Suck you, Kurt. Oh, no. Alright. I'm somewhat okay with this. Anyone in the pose? All right, so I'm going to do, um, let's see here. I'm actually going to do a crafting check, which one I add for, for actually I'm going to do insight. Or should I just do your wisdom? What are you trying to do? Uh, the idea, basically I'm going to rig up a couple, take one of the vials and rig it up, uh, give, I'm going to be giving one to Kyrie uh, for dropping on them. And then I'm also going to rig I try to see if I can figure out a way to rig up the bolts to have alchemist fire on them as well. Or at least. A witzvitz, you use rope trick, uh, chick tech, but use rope as any of this. Uh, what did you do? Is this slave? Yep. All right, we'll do slave hand then. Oh, I'm about fuck, to say, it's only plus one. Oh, uh, wait, hang on. Do you want me to do it instead? Because I think my slide of hand's a little bit better. <laughs> Probably wait, so, wait. honestly. My slide of hand's four. Let yeah. the ballista. All right. So I'm going to try and slide a hand it. Lewis? If, I, if you shoot the ballista and the arrow hits the boat, 
does the whole ballistic, the whole arrow break, or just a, does it get stuck inside? Usually it depends. The whole, the whole bolt will shatter, but the bolt will pierce through, but it's still going to take a lot of damage. So oh. if I was to be tied around like the end of it, not the end where it hits, but the back end, would it still take damage if I was to get shot? I'd say there's probably what a 50 50 chance. Probably. That's even, high low. Kurt, I'm going to do my uh, evasive maneuver check. check with the, the first one that I did there was Mirage's the one look alive. Okay. So, um. Kurt, Oof. did I. I, 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 I want to do the, the rigging check here in a second. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I was going to say you managed to tie the vials to the bliss bolt. Yes. How many do we do we want to use? I know we're going to use maybe one to dr actually drop on them, but well, how many? We have four total right now. Yeah, I mean it, technically, two. if we hit, if we hit with at least two, the ship's going to catch easily. We just need one if you hit in the right spot. Yeah, just one would be a decent amount. But what you're going to want to hit is not the, not the helm. You're going to want to hit the deck itself. The deck, the hull. The deck yeah. the halls with. Ooh, I can spot the fire. I can spot weakness. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. Light a match and see a gleam fall along. Uh, whoosh. Uh, Mirage yeah. will help you in that. Uh, let me do spot weakness real quick before that. And then I'm going to go also go on to the. Uh, I've also. Well, I've actually been readying the catapult. Where? <laughs> spot weakness. Uh, perception. Uh, where is it? Perception. Oh, oh God, you that see, sounds good. You have X-ray oh, vision. You have super X-ray vision. You see through the hole. You see the, them making <laughs> barrels of freaking. Like, so you're gonna get a plus four to that check, Brandon. No piloting checks. We'll be able to make it. Sweet. So it's gonna be a seventeen then. All right. So this so is this gonna hit hard. Well, unfortunately, the evasive maneuvers, I believe, gives you disadvantage on attacks. So, so, it's going to be, be, so it's gonna be uh, the advantage is going to cancel it out. Okay, that's fair. The evasive maneuvers says that your ship has disadvantage on all attacks this round. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So yeah, uh, you do manage to spot him. And if the who's running the weapons, by the way, I'm on uh, the catapult. And Mirage and the Oni are on the back ballista. And I'm assuming those other two crew members are helping me out with the catapult. Yeah. I'm a rope. <laughs> All right. Give me some attack rolls. All right. All right. All right. All right. At least for us. Do we get any? Uh, do I add anything to that? The plus nope. one. Nope. Not right now. Unfortunately. Okay. Barely. Barely. Damn, it smells like up dog in here. What? Said, damn, it smells like up dog in here. Stop it. She fell for it. What? Mirage. Said, it smells like up dog in here. I don't know. Fire in the ballista. Fire in my laser. Yeah. Okay, so I got I kicked out is. because my girlfriend called. Do but... you have a plus one dog. or more on your intelligence? Or? Okay. You don't fuck with the so, what happened well, to the ballista like bolts? The ballista is going to hit. Awesome. It was like up dog in here. You're supposed to ask what? What is it? No, you supposed to say what's up dog, and I say nothing much. Nothing much. What's up with you? What's Louis, up dog? Your jokes are about as old as you are. 
Yeah. She's like a she's 22 like a years blonde, old. I swear. Shut <laughs> up. I was just trying to get her there, and she's like, I don't know what that means. Hey, Brandon. <laughs> Second, hold on. Stop doing it. <laughs> I swear, I am a boy. It's a bird, it's a plane. It's up, dog. That's <laughs> for. I swear, I don't feel like that. Maybe I feel bad about myself. Do what? Maybe I feel bad about I always feel bad. Seriously. Not looking. What shame are you talking about? I don't know. You like a joke. Joke. Ten years ago. Level in there when you want. Roll damage there, Brandon. I'm back. I'm gonna roll it right now for you. Are you really judging me, Oler? Five out of seven. How dare you? 1v1 me in, in a pit, boy. I'll 1v1 you. Real world? Yes, real world. Do I get to bring my mother? Blade, we hear you breathing. Uh, Are you fine with the ones? The, the fire ones? Yeah. What were you aiming for, Blade? Anyway? Or what did, what did he spot? Copy, what did you spot the weakness on? I spotted the weakness on. Nah, yeah, just to be safe, I'll say the deck. <laughs> So the hole? Yeah. Then we have your forehead. Okay. Also get your forehead. Yeah, it's it's five to eight, I think, yeah. Oh shit, you're right. <laughs> Recording, remember. Wait. What? Or somebody, I can hear you breathing like super loud. Uh Kurt, I'm gonna re roll the D eight since it's D eight. Alright. I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn. You deserve it for last time. I do. Brandon. I definitely do. <laughs> I'll handle fire damage on my end. What? Also, Louie, you never answered me. I can hear her. What'd you say? In a pit match, do I get to bring my own weapons? Depends what weapons you have. Ladle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be. I have one ladle. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Why did Wade just move down to Terraria? Oh, I thought you moved him. <laughs> no, I did not, but I don't think he knows that he can't come back. Why can't Why? he come back? Because, because there's no portals in Terraria. No, because he doesn't have permission. Really? Yep. We'll just leave him down there and see how long it takes to figure it out. The bliss. The bolt bounces off because he got kicked out of the voice chat, Brandon. Brandon. Yeah, they get messages on roll twenty. Anyways, the ballistic bolt bounces across the deck, shattering <laughs> portions of it. Fire goes everywhere. Opening communication with their captain again. This be this means chance. You hear him laugh, just like the hellfire you'll burn in. I'm sorry, but I'm not a Christian. You know, the way you did that, Kurt, it kind of sounded like Macho Man Randy Savage. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. You're going to be burning the fires in all our decks. Are you ready for the Macho man <laughs> The Macho Man Randy Savage. He thinks you need a bit more threat in your um, talk there, Concho. I. This is not my strong point. I am but a wee little cat. So I don't know how, but I actually got moved <laughs> into the Terraria chat. <laughs> you got lucky that you chose the Terraria chat because you're not supposed to have permission to move back and forth. I don't know. I don't know. Did. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you got lucky that Terraria was open. Was the was three that? cannons boom, but none of them managed to hit. Whew. Oh, I'm sorry. How much damage did we end up doing to them? At least we don't visibly. know. We don't okay. know. The crew, the crew seems the, to be a little more by their backsides catching on fire. 
Alright, All right. watching. How close are they, Kurt? They are uh, very close now. Close You're trying to do. I'll say. We're going to say 30 to weigh. 30 feet, you say? Don't lie to me. Th 30 feet, you say? <laughs> what? Oh. That's, that's, ca that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, their captain needs to give me a wisdom save, if you don't mind, Kurt. Kurt! <laughs> <laughs> Laughs at Hayden. What's his wisdom save for? Uh, his wisdom save is for versus being charmed. Oh no, not charmed. Held. Sorry. Held? Yep. What's the save you see? 13. Oh no. From this distance, you clearly see the enemy captain freeze up, stiff as a board. And I'm gonna shout across as Mirage, I'm gonna shout across. If the captain says that it'd be best to stop, it'd be best to stop. Why don't you make him have a stroke? Because <laughs> fuck that captain. Uh, are we uh, able to start a boarding party, Kurt? Is yeah. A, whatever it is, the come along check or the. It's not broadside now, it's uh. It's a grab, come along and grapple, I think. Yeah, it's just a grapple, isn't it? I think yeah. so, yeah. Yeah, 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 because the come along side puts us within 10 feet, so we'll do that one check, that check first. Okay. And we'll go here, and wait, 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 we go here first. Lawrence will make the, the check for, it's going to be a slash roll 1, D20, plus, um, how far are we from him? Yeah, no, but uh, does he still get the plus two, Kurt? Well, let me do the rating check. Okay. Uh, I'm still off myself. He's gonna get a plus four. Plus my plus three? So plus seven. Yeah. Plus seven. Oh, damn. Shit. The best. That's not good. That's no good. We are not coming alongside, gentlemen. Oh, you're right. Oh, God, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, failing the maneuver check by a margin of five or less. Okay, yeah, no, man. Yeah, but less than ten. More than five, but less than ten. Mm hmm. But it's got to be a swing, right? Yeah. So it means we failed by 11. We did. We did. We failed by 11. Oh god, by 10 or more indicates the ship past the feet without stopping. Colliding rigging does force <laughs> random to each ship's rigging. What? So you smash Our rigging in each other. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then we're 35 feet away. And then <laughs> away from them. <laughs> My bad, guys. My bad. If anyone would like to take an action to jump across, I'd let it. I'd allow it. Jump, 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 jump across. Screw it. I'm. I'm. Many are there? I guess. I guess floating my way to the crow's seven. nest. Oh no, we don't know that there's seven. The seven is the elves. elves. Yeah, that was the elves. You see, eleven human. This one. Guard, is that possible? What are you doing? I, I guess floating my way down towards the, uh... Yeah. Just flapping over there real quick. To, to their crow's nest? Yeah. Alright, there is someone in their crow's nest. Yeah. Hey, Harpy! Uh, then, what do you want? Pick me up and uh, bring me across. You're heavy! My strength is minus one. I could drop you. I'm a freaking rope! You're still heavy. <laughs> Alright. Um, danger, danger, danger. Alright. If Louis is... Amendable to pick me up. I'm gonna grab it and jump across. Alright. No, 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 I'm just gonna jump across as a rope and slip. No, 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 no. let him carry you. Let, let him carry you. Yeah, if I carry yeah. you, they won't know you're nothing more than a rope. They'll just think they'll just think that's for tying up. Okay. And... But no, Kurt, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this as a flight act as a flight and be a bit okay, of there. Just move on. 
And I'm okay. if if the only jumps, I, Mirage is gonna jump too. <laughs> oh, oh boy, that's fucked up. <laughs> By force, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> I did not expect this much combat today. And then I'm going to Curtis. Uh, well, well, yeah. I'm, been, I'm going to jump up, uh, kind of fly over the side, but get near the cannons. Did man tail no tail? You want to get near the cannons? Yes. Alright. Give me a, uh, give me a 5d6 there, Lauren. To get. Alright. Slash roll. 5d6. Actually, oh, I should probably fix this ship. Instead. Ship's not taking a whole lot of damage, it's the rigging. Oh, yeah, the rigging's taking a little bit damage. What? I can definitely hear you breathing. Except the mic is way up here. Then you're snoring. I mean, I was just stretching. <laughs> oh, no. Well, still out. What is the word? Sorry, sorry. Alright. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna try to make something a little easier for you. Um, we don't. I'm gonna do this. Uh, right here for Mirage. And then that's her initiative. Okay. Wait, so who's taking me across? I'm carrying you. The Oni. And then this one is for Lawrence. <laughs> actual Lawrence. Is Lawrence jumping across? No, he's staying on the ship. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah. Yeah. What, what I was going to do is if we roll them like that and not actually click the initiative, well, it didn't put you in there. As long as you uh, the Yeah, I, I figured that we all act on the ship's turn, but for our order, this is what we have. So, so right now we have Mirage, uh, Komatsu. If the rest of you guys want to go ahead and do one as well, we can <coughs> work out the uh, turn order. Sure. Uh, oh god. Lewis, we're going to take the first one. Alright, so... God, that should be everybody. So we have uh, Kyrie, then we have uh, Komatsu, They're tired. They have And they have uh, equal dexterity. Well, yeah, I was going to say, they both have one. So it'd be a flat d20 roll at that point to see who goes next on them. But Lawrence would actually go before both of them. Well, Lawrence has the other ship's initiative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's on the other ship, so. Uh, and then, Tyler, you and Lewis need to roll a d20. Just a flat d20. I already got it. I got another one? Yeah, just a flat d20. Because you guys tied. Oh, wow. Well, this got a 17 and. Second. <laughs> <laughs> Again? Go ahead, Louis. You go first. No, no, you go first. Okay. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> I can't believe. How many times has this happened tonight for me? Like. This is a just lot. Easy. Mm -hmm. Crazy. That's funny. <laughs> Alright, Kurt, I have us all set here, so. Alrighty. We'll go. So, we're gonna start from the top on the enemy ship because your ship is now like 30 feet away. Yep. You guys see that the uh, most of the deck is covered in alchemist fire. All the humans seem to be wearing summer, and they have long swords that they're drawing. Um, okay. I'll do what I'm doing on my turn.
So who's first? They are. They're well, uh, hang on, actually, I talk, I fail. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they don't know I'm there yet, right? No, you're just a rope being held right now. You're a rope by my left hand and a sword to my right. Actually, Brandon, you're going to be going first. Um, Mirage, you rolled the highest initiative, yeah? Okay. Yeah. I got a 19 on mine, so yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right, so could I get from where I am to the captain of their ship? There's a good bit of alchemist fire and bur big burly men, a couple of big burly men between you and them. Can I pull an absolute pirate trick and ride the rigging? <laughs> Since it's all tangled Why up, not like, so cuddle so on the give, side. And give me... We're gonna go, uh, give me an intelligence check with your bonus for your ship's vehicles. To know if you would know to do this. One d twenty plus three. Alright. So now give me what we think that'd be. Slate of hand. Both. Um, would it be sleight of hand or would it be an acrobatics check? I guess it'd be probably acrobatics. Okay. <laughs> wow. Uh -oh. That's impressive considering that was a really terrible roll. I know, right? Maybe. A mirage is in the air. They're not airborne fellas. <laughs> the, half, the whole halfling grabs on the rigging, butts it, and flies off. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to resolve the rest of that on next turn. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> uh, uh, next would be... Uh, who's next? Shit. Uh, hold on. I, uh, if you want from us. It is. Yeah. Kyrie. Yep. There you go. All right. So at this point, I'm just kind of floating above their crow's nest. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Then, uh... Too bad you can't grapple and throw that guy off. No, but I can use my new dagger. You swoop it in for the dagger attack? Would that still be advantage? I'll give you advantage, yeah. Then yes, I will do it. <laughs> Oh, that'd be great. I can't see Han. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright. Well, oh, uh, hang on. what am I rolling again? Let's find out. I'm rolling 1d6 plus 1 plus 2 piercing. Okay. You can also click the Yay. Oh, yeah, it should, yeah. Damn, I guess it... Huh, okay. Did it everything? Yeah, I think it did. Yeah. Did it, did it add the plus one? one for yeah, it's 1d6 it plus one plus two, yeah. Oh, uh, and he rolled a one. He rolled a one. Alright, All right. Nice. critical fail. No, it's just low damage. Just minimal damage. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> you shank the dude, and are you going to try to swoop back up? He has a crossbow. Oh, mm -hmm. What's the short range on that? Any idea? Uh, I mean, you're 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 fine. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I guess I'll go back up. Uh, yeah, the short range on that's eighty feet. It's ridiculous. Oh wow! By the way, Wade, are you remembering all of your stuff for your class? Ah. Uh... Specifically, uh, the hunter or the slayer's prey. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm tired, so probably I'm not. Tired. As a bonus action, you designate one creature you can see within 60 feet of you as the target of this feature. Uh, the first time. Damn it, stop moving stuff. Stop moving stuff! I'm reading it. <laughs> Uh, the first time each turn you hit that target with a weapon attack, it takes an extra 1d6 points of damage. Oops. Well, that's why I was reminding you, you could still do it. I'll let do it, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sure, I'll, I'll do Slayer's Prey. He is now your prey. 
So again, roll an extra d6 points of piercing damage. Oh, stab, stab. Oh, oh fuck. Me. You know what else has going on, right? Mm hmm. These are his favorite enemy. Yep. <laughs> I was reading that, I was like, yay. Let's roll one d Wow. Damn. Say again. That's better. <laughs> uh, what's favorite enemy do now? Uh, advantage for tracking. It's nothing major. Is he using the? He's got primary. Oh, okay, never mind. Alrighty. Stab, stab, stab. Now he's close to being dead. He is close to being dead. That's true. Next would be the Oni. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to laying down. Huh? Closest dude. There's dudes everywhere. Want to uh, drop the rope? <laughs> Sammy. Actually. actually. I'm gonna throw the rope at a dude. Throw the rope at a dude? Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Good. Good. The rope is always ready. <laughs> you want me to for that? <laughs> Go ahead and roll the hit check, see if you actually landed on the dude. Uh, do I get my dex for that? Or you just, or you just roll the d20? Do, uh, uh, dex or strength. You want to give me a tag? I well, we'll resolve that in Louis' turn. Actually, and there's uh, a rope <laughs> landed on one dude. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll close on another guy. And He'll never be the wiser. But if not, uh, then uh... I'll let you do your bonus action attack thing if you want. You didn't roll an attack this I'll turn. <laughs> At least you don't have disadvantage. I know, right? Ching, 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 ching. Cut him good. Cut him real good. Alrighty. Uh, your thing. What does that do for that? That doesn't give you da bonus damage, does it? What's that? Your enchanted sword. Um. I don't think it does, since I'm doing an unarmed attack. Flurry of blows. Oh, uh, are you, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. But it would just give me advantage. Yeah, I guess you have advantage on finding the Alright, next up is actually going to be there go. Let's get some rolls over here. Also. Yeah. That. That. That's neat. I know, right? That's pretty neat. <laughs> Did you jump across to uh, um Tyler? Uh, I jumped down. I'm I'm heading towards the cannons. Okay, yeah, that's right. So you're on the ship there. I'm, I'm, yeah, but they can't, I don't think they'll real unless they look over, I don't think they'll be able to look, look at me from, or see yeah. from the, uh, deck. You're flying. Now, one other question for you. Yeah? If I just kind of use, if I cast a thunderclap within the deck, will that affect everybody on top as well? Uh, it's, yeah, it's like a, is it cube? No, it, hang on, give me, I have, I have it written down, it is... Uh, you create a thunderous burst of sound that can be heard from up to 100 feet away. Each creature within range, uh, other than Mother. you, must succeed on a con saving throw or take 1d6 thunder damage. 
What's yep. the range on it? Uh, that's thunderclap. It's a hundred. It's a hundred uh, burst uh, with from starting at me. The cube, so and can... yeah, it hit us all. If that's the case. I will just use thunder wave. Because then that is a that is a fifteen foot cube originating from me. But my idea, I was asking because I wasn't sure how much the is how much sound would be absorbed by if I uh, within the within like layer of the deck where the cannons are at. Because my because if that if I if that doesn't work out, I'm just going to cast Dust Devil within the uh, on oh. my turn. That felt weird as fuck. Where all the cannon people are at. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, hang on a second. Okay, cool. Thunderclap is a five foot radius. Thunderclap. This is a cantrip, yeah? Yeah, the cantrip. Yeah, it's a five foot. But it says within uh, all creatures that can, uh, you create a thunder's burst that can be heard up to 100 feet away. Each creature within range must exceed so the, on the cantrip. The range on it is five foot, but, but everything within 100 feet can hit. But all the creatures within yeah, five feet are actually five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a uh, cantrip wouldn't hit everyone within 100 feet of you. That's ridiculous. Shame. So yeah. Is Kato staying again? Okay, I've been misreading that then. It's fine. No. The way the way it's kind of with the way it's kind of worded, yeah. about it from yeah. really worded I'm like See? if there was a nice face much, you have there like a hundred feet, I was like start smacking everybody for a D six. That's why I haven't used it at all. You're smearing it. Yeah, no, it's just like a little pop around you. Okay. So fun fact, Kurt. Yeah. Um, I told John no. that I made cat puns, and he says, I regret nothing. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. He said, if I didn't make any cat puns, I should have. He says, I regret nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what are you going to do? You're going to do Thunder Wave or Thunder Clap? <laughs> Um, you just made it like turn? halfway across your head. Oh, I should say turn. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm because I'm not gonna do that right now. I have other plans. It's, yeah, it's pretty. Well, well, only seeing one really valid target on their deck, barreling down the poor Oni. Sorry, Oni. <laughs> they're coming. They're coming for you. And say, you gotta realize the halfling's up in the air, the harpy's on the side of the boat, the mimic is a robe. You well, don't I'm really have. I, 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 I don't actually have target here. Hmm? Only three of them are gonna be able to you this round, though. A lot of them are gonna have to take a couple rounds to get around the alchemist yeah. fire. Throw them in the fire, or Throw them all in the fire. I mean, he can't. What's your armor class there? It's so sleepy. With Agile Perry? Yeah. Seat. 17? <laughs> One of them manages to hit you, but the other two... Yes. <laughs> Shut up. I mean, why? I mean, Shindy. <laughs> you. Shindy. Currently Ola right now. Omoa. Omewa. Mo Shinderu. The rest Omewa. of the crew is the Nani? You take, uh, we're gonna do eight points of damage. Ouch. Oh, he rolled pretty high. Shall I send you? Naughty. Eight points. Okay. And then we're gonna go to Alo on the other ship. Alright, so I'm gonna peek in. I'm gonna do a quick peek in. Do I see people at the cannons? There are three people. At, there's six people at the cannons, actually. What? So Alright, I'm gonna cast. Oh, wait a minute. Que oh, another question. 
If I cast Dust Devil, will it pick up on the Alchemist Flame? I mean, it'd probably blow it around a little bit. Alchemist Fire is like goop. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like a gel. It's yeah, it's a yeah, gel. Yeah, it's, 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 it's tar it's fire. Say stuff. Um, hey, it's a lot like a tar fire, actually. Okay. Because okay. I'm looking at the thing. It said, um, uh, if if dust devil moves over sand, dust, loose dirt, or like gravel, it sucks up uh, the material and forms a ten foot radius of debris. I was wondering, hmm? would it potentially be possible to pick up some of the alchemist fire or things that are on fire and fiery dust devil go right, spreading chaos around the ship? Hang on. Ah. I think that might be a better use of that spell and then cause all of the hell. I say they'll be able to pick up stuff that is on fire, like a little bit of debris that's on fire. So will it catch other people on fire? Will it also deal fire damage as well? It has a chance to do fire damage to catch people on fire. And so they fail their sleep on it. Tyler. Uh, God. I, know, I might save that one. I might actually save that. Tyler. What, Lou? Imagine if we was on a volcanic island and we went over like volcanic ash that had some oh, cinders god. in it. Oh god! Oh my god! <laughs> uh, but I'm actually going to stick with my initial plan because that just thought that just occurred to me. I'll probably do that on another turn. Uh, I'm going to cast mm -hmm. Dust Devil uh, on the cannoneers. All right. <clears throat> Try to blow them off the cannons. Uh, blow them, the, blow them around, and basically prevent them from using actually using the cannons because we are broadsided. Yeah. Well, not as bad anymore, saying how f badly you missed that grapple check. <laughs> so I don't want to destroy the cannons, because I want the cannons for ourselves. But I also don't want them using it on our ship when they're right there. 35 feet away. Alrighty. So, we got some, we got some uh, so at the end of their turn, they had to make a strength check. Okay. Yeah, strength saving throw. Uh, on a fail to save, uh, the creature takes 1d8 bludgeoning damage and is pushed 10 feet away from the dust devil. Uh, all right. Save, they take half, are not pushed. Yeah. Then as a bonus action, I can move it wherever the fuck I want. All right, so you're going to start slapping on some cannons. Yep. <laughs> all right. Uh... Is there anything you doing a move action? Uh, as a move action, I'm actually going to kind of plaster myself up against the side so I can't be hit. Actually, no, I'm going to kind of go duck beneath the ship itself. All right. That can't possibly go wrong. <laughs> Not with fire dripping through. Is there fire dripping off the side? <laughs> Might be. All right, because if that's if I noticed that. <laughs> All right, it's a mimic term. All right, that's what happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rage. Oh. <laughs> Rage. <laughs> Rage, and then just start grappling the shit out of Autistic. <laughs> Rope starts off six screeching. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Now I'm sure. Uh, should I rage? Might as well. Oh my god, this is fucking hysterical. I'm going to rage. And I'm going and I'm to somehow to imagine like I'm muscles and like the little like angry like vein popping like popping up all over the rope. Shy <laughs> <laughs> oh, to you. None. No, like none. So, are you uh, doing a grapple check? Oh, oh, Actually, oh, no. Oh, your oh, grapple check is attack in it. Your pseudopod. Can't you grapple your pseudopod? Yeah, that's when I when I know when I attack with it, it grapples. Grapple. Yeah. So go ahead and roll to hit with your pseudopod. I'm gonna give you advantage because he thinks you're a rope. Oh. <laughs> Why are, you, what, why are you double rolling everything? It causes is a pad is being stupid. Um. Okay. <laughs> 
Unfortunately, your little tentacle foot does not manage to hit him as he's trying to desperately get you off of him. Well, I'm around him, so can is the bonus actually gonna like grapple and throw him prone? You have to successfully hit him first. first. Yeah, you have to hit him first. Unfortunately, my body's around him. Just, like, well, like, you're not technically grappling him though. You're just kind of on him. I can't just like flex my muscles and try to like. Choke him. <laughs> That's what you did the first one. He just kind of wiggled free just enough before you would have actually grappled. Now, if you would have actually, instead of uh, attacking him, you could have actually declared your attack as a grapple. Completely different story, then. That's lame. I want to put. I want to put all my weight down on him. Well, you're kind of doing that anyway. No, I mean like, like dead weight. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And now we're gonna go over to um, Lawrence on the other ship. Lawrence on the other ship. Um, with the <laughs> small crew, he's going to just continue doing evasive maneuvers to attempt to stay within range of the other ship, but to stay out of range of their cannons. Um, having his crew do the rigging and things like that. Alrighty. Let's see. do some maneuvers here. Uh, you'll get only a plus two on this next piloting check. Okay, so a total of five. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Taking evasive maneuvers. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Um, <clears throat> Tyler. Your, yeah. your profile picture is giving me cancer. <laughs> I don't even want to know what it is. You love it, don't you? <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, I was back to the top. Okay. Um, where am I at in location to the ship? I would say you're going to suit her and flipping over their cap. That's my. That was my plan, yes. Give me a uh, acrobatic check to make sure you stick landing. Do I, in fact, hold on. All right, I got like three windows open here. That's fine. Hey, you stick the landing. And then stuck it. All right, uh, I'm behind the captain, right, or around the captain? Yeah, you're, you're pretty close to the captain. You're kind of in front of him a little bit. All right, he doesn't. He hasn't moved yet, so. Well, he can't. Can he? No, I mean, not yet. He cannot. Um, <laughs> uh, he's a human, right? That he is. A big old human. All right, hold on. Give me a second. I'm reading a spell. Uh, spell thing. Do, 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 do. Not gonna work that way. He's basically he's gonna be paralyzed up to a minute unless he makes his wisdom save on his turn. Yeah. Uh, yeah. which makes him paralyzed. So he can't make any he automatically fails saves. Uh right? Dex, 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 think. Look it up real quick. Okay. Hold please. <laughs> Uh, petrified or paralyzed? Paralyzed. <laughs> yes, he's paralyzed. He's petrified. Petrified. Kurt. Paralyzed. He automatically fails strength and dexterity throws. Uh, I'm going to use my action to uh, push him to the edge. Push him to the edge. Yep. Uh, it'll mo he'll move half my movement <coughs> speed uh, because he's bigger than I am. So uh, he will be moved a minimum of 15 feet to the edge. I say he's uh, 
Just slightly bigger ship. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what put him teetering on the brink. All right, and then um, can I attempt to slide of hand him real quick, or is that too much since I'm not rogy? Uh, I'm gonna say you're not rogy. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. So yeah, I've pushed him. Uh, uh, you're I'm pushing this poor captain off the to the ship. <laughs> and, uh, all the while, while whistling a sea shanty, and I'm gonna <laughs> uh, disengage from him and stand back. Alrighty. Are you going to do, do a flying drop kick? Yes. <laughs> if that fails, Brandon, do you want me to gust to wind him? Uh, we may, we, I just may need somebody to save me if I miss. <laughs> yeah, there's <God>. that. <laughs> Kyrie, up on top. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> That's what he gets for being so loud. Alrighty. There you go, wait. <laughs> Anyhow. I like how you exhale like you've been holding your breath the entire time. More of a sigh, but fair enough. <laughs> Anyways. The little the scrawny man in the crow's nest does have his crossbow loaded. He's going to try to fire at you next action. You know what? I'm going to do the dumb thing I did last time, and I'm going to fire my longbow. <laughs> at point blank range? While flying. He gets an attack of opportunity. I well, he has range. a crossbow. Oh, no. no, it's made at disadvantage. But it, I, I, I believe it cancels out. I mean, yeah. I feel like double disadvantage right now. Why do you do double disadvantage? Yeah, he, because he's within 100 feet. Disadvantage one. He, he's within five feet and firing uh, a ranged weapon into melee. I think he backed up a little bit there. Yeah, I backed up a little bit. Oh, I'm not okay. in five feet. I'm, okay. in, I'm yeah. Alright. All right. So his disadvantage is just going to get cancelled out by the advantage when he gets from yeah. high ground. Good, rolled hit. Nope, there it goes. Sticks, sticks in the crow's nest here, but does not hit. Swap. Damn it. Uh, you gonna take a move action? Uh, I'm gonna go underneath the crow's nest. There you go. <coughs> now we're with portals. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Next up is Koma Sume. <laughs> what about the cannon crew? They're they're going after him. Her. <laughs> All right, meet him again. He's three <laughs> enough. He gets one chance. That is a hit. It's a solid hit too. Pop. Is he still standing? He is, in fact, standing. Cool bonus action. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I believe that second one's a miss, though. Yep. Unfortunately. That's okay. Uh, you don't want to move action? Nah. I'm just gonna and stand in the outside. Right? We're just gonna start punching things. Alrighty. Alrighty, it's gonna be their turn. <laughs> oh shoot! The fuck. <clears throat> uh, once again, one of them is gonna hit you. That one's on top of his game. All oh, for three points of damage. <laughs> Ouch. That minimum damage. Alright, so yeah, you took the damage from that combat. Uh, the one that has the <laughs> wrapped all around him is going to throw the rope off of him. Can I make a pose athletic check? You know what? Give me an opposed athletic check. Keep in mind that you're raging. You are raging. Why? Twice. Twice. Oh, man. Hey, man. Hang on. Let me look at your character. No, oh, that would make sense. <laughs> it rolled once that time. I think it's because he's on a, a trackpad. Are you oh, might be. With the trackpad? I'm, 
I don't know what the heck this is. I don't have an actual mouse with it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are you double pressing when you do it? Like uh, like you're actually trying to double click it? Yeah. Don't. Just click I it hate, once. I hate it. I'm so used to double clicking for everything. Yeah, click it once and see what happens real quick. Alright. I guess I'll take the eight. This makes me sad. Yeah, we'll give it Funnily enough, he actually grand total to seven, so... Whoa! Whoa. Wow. <laughs> really, Louie? Really, really. <laughs> Slay the spire. <laughs> you quit that right now. You Slay the spire. Slay the pyre? We're gonna light him on fire? <laughs> He's on freaking steam as well. Don't you think oh, he's playing really about Slay the spire? Or... Yeah. That looks like a fun game. Wait, wait, wait. Who's playing it? You are. Oh my god, Jonathan bought it on my computer. <laughs> I was talking about a game. He motherfucker would have bought it. <laughs> the save popped up and said, More epic than you, Lols, was playing Slay the Spire. Yeah, I'm gonna have to beat his ass now. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't bought a game on my Steam account, a little douchebag. Who did? Jonathan, he bought Slay the Spire on my Steam account. <laughs> I don't know his mom's credit card, now mine, and my card is empty. Oh, like I have zero doll hairs. <laughs> All right, Kurt, what's going on up there? Uh, hang on, a second. Go uh, roll your dust damage, by the way, uh, Tyler. Hmm? Dust, devil, dust devil. devil damage. Uh, deals one d eight. If the, if the, if the See, has, uh, roll it. Roll it. Yeah. Okay. Right. Wow. That's amazing. Well, the thing is, if they fail the save, they take the full thing yeah. and they get pushed 10 feet away. Yeah. So your duck's still in work. You can't see because you duck underneath the ship. Uh, it's going to be your turn. All right. Um, I'm going to do an insight check, a knowledge insight check real quick, uh, about the ship itself, trying to find any weak points underneath. Pretty sure, pretty right. sure much give me a, give me a, give me a, um, give it a ship building plus your intelligence. Oh, that's why I was asking about the insight because of the oh. ship plus, plus Yeah, insight. we'll insight, yeah. This, alright, so. If you're in a tire. Uh, it's, that'll be that plus to the ship writing, it'll be another two, so that'll be twelve. All right, you know that most of these ships were made to be much like seafaring ships. And because of that, their bottoms are actually pretty solid. Okay. Being sad to survive in the ocean. And all, honestly, all these airships can land safely on the ocean, navigate safely on the ocean. Do I see a, like, a steering rudder? You do see a rudder. Way down in the back side of the ship. Do I see any other colors? On the underside, the underside might chop me up. No, there's no pillars. Okay, good. <laughs> Not become harpy men speed yet. Yeah, I'm gonna actually fly over to the rudder. All right. And then I'm gonna cause some chaos. Cause some chaos. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do double move action to get down there. That is, that is perfectly fine. All right, and we'll let you do some crazy stuff next turn. All right, Louie, Louie. Is it my turn? Oh, go ahead. On. Also, also, one of this action, uh, just kind of mentally, I'm just kind of moving, having the, I don't know, what, I don't know what the the gust wind did, but the, the yeah. gust wind is gonna kind of bounce from that wherever it's, where the one where it started at to the next one down. Alrighty. And then basically each turn is just gonna kind of keep moving back and forth, picking up debris, whatever it can, and just yeah, causing just... chaos and havoc. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Alrighty, Miss Y'all Mimic. He's tried to throw you and cannot get you off of him. Hold on, I'm looking real quick. You can either make a flat athletic check or you can try to hit him with your pseudopod again and to initiate the grapple that way. I'll give you advantage either way, especially because you're Rachel. I'm going to use... Um... Relentless attack. Thank God, I mean, I'm looking at my stuff real quick. Yeah, relentless attack. Though, aside all concerns for defense, to attack with fierce desperation 
When you make your first attack on your turn, you can decide to attack recklessly. Doing so gives you an advantage on melee weapon attack rolls using strength during this turn. But <clears throat> attack rolls against you have advantage until your next turn. Do the relentless attack? Yeah, I'm going to make this relentless. Alrighty. So I get, like, what does it do? A double advantage, or is it just... It's just, it's just going to be regular advantage. Pseudopod time. That's okay. a hit. It's definitely a hit. Now you can make your bonus action to grapple him as well. well. <laughs> That's a seven. Two. Really, would that be eight since I'm attacking re relentless? Wait, wait. Well, you don't hit twice. No, uh, the second one is just you make an athletics check to grapple him. Is um, it, I'm, this is damage I'm, from the attack. And I'm not going to not do it. <laughs> That's a lot of damn air roller. The sheets must be. <laughs> If you're proficient with your arm strikes, you may attack with the bite or pseudopod. When you attack with the bite, uh, you attack uh, pseudopod. You use the bonus action to do grapple. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Well, that, well, the eight spot damage goes real well as attack. So, but we will have to roll for the athletics check for the grapple. Yeah. Okay. All right. Have uh, on that. Did you roll the damage on your? Yeah, yes, yeah, I get eight. eight. The eight, 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 Nice. I was about to, I was about to click on it. You click it if you want. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I clicked on it. Did it do anything? Nope. No. There it goes. Four. four. <laughs> hey. Well, that works. Okay. So four bludgeoning damage. By the way, this is, this is the raging mimic right now. Can't look at that. <laughs> yeah, I can. <laughs> That's funny. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> you're angry because you're raging. All right. Well, uh, let me give you let me do his. Uh, he's absolutely hopelessly grappled by this rope. He tried to shrug, sh throw the rope over his side, and the rope grabbed back. Now he's very <laughs> terrified. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> That's yeah, but, but no, but no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Before my turn ends, I'm going to softly whisper into his ear. Before, so nobody else can hear, I'll be like, Swiggity Swooty, I'm coming for that booty. <laughs> I want nobody else to hear this except for. Nani? Nani? Uh, with that, it's going to be back in Lawrence at the ship. Okay. I'll be right back. I use the bathroom real fast. Uh, what's his rigging? Uh, let's see. His rigging? What? Oh, no, good. His rigging's gonna be plus four this time around. Alright. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. 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 Is that considered as his move action, or is that considered as his actual action to fly the castle? Uh, that's gonna be his actual action. Okay, good. Okay, good. So you can see his move action. Oh, he ain't gonna move. <laughs> the crew are going about their duty, the non, you know, non essential. They're actually loading all of the siege weapons. Okay. And they have a person in Man Beach, and <laughs> they tell you that they're ready to fire them too. Oh. Hold your fire, just in case we need it for quick escapes. I acting. 
All right, so we're back at the top with Mirage. You go fly and kick this dude. I gave it some thought. That is oh. absolutely not something that Mirage would do. I mean, she would definitely not try to drop kick somebody. That's beneath her as hell. Uh, <laughs> it would be great. It would be great, but I don't think she has it in her. <laughs> um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what I'll do. Okay, uh, call it higher low, Kurt. Low. She is not. <laughs> she is. Not. Right. If it was low, she would have bowed down and did it. Uh, now, actually, what she's going to do is she's just going to walk over to him again. Uh, she disengaged, actually, mostly because uh, she was didn't want to get attacked by him. If he broke his, his yeah. head, safe. So she's just going to walk over to him uh, and give him a good shove. Give him a good shove do. Before I do that, could I sleight of hand to take anything off of him? Or should I just push him over the edge? Give me a sleight of hand. I'll let you do it. Yeah, no. He's going over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> she just kind of walks over, looks him in the eye, and said, says, uh, those who hunt beasts are nothing but trash. Over the edge he goes. All right. Do I see him going down? Yeah, you see him go fun past you. You know what the best part about this is, Oler? I mean, uh... What? You look over and you just see this guy perfectly stiff as a board, still perfectly content, falling off the edge of the ship. No emotion, <laughs> no screams of woe <laughs> escape his voice. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna kind of shrug and go back to my business. <laughs> also, do we want to take the ship for our, our own or no? I mean, we're probably gonna take the ship, I'll be honest with you. Okay, then I won't damage the road. <laughs> Kyrie. Yeah. Oh, let me unmute him. Oh, yeah. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Why did I repeat him this time? Seriously. What? What? Like, because you muted me? Yeah. Like, the mic's far away. Okay. I'm hardly breathing. Okay. Well, you get one chance. <laughs> all, right, all right. Let me sit my ass up. And You're just going to. You're hiding under the crow's desk while this dude's picking over trying to find you. Uh, I'm gonna try and sneak up behind him. And just straight up stab him. Straight up stab him? Alright, I'll give you advantage on it. I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to. Uh, here we go. That's it? Yay. Don't forget your extra damage. Yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, let's see. So it is that plus one d six. Hmm? I mean, that's not bad. Plus one d six. With that, the poor scrawny dude falls to his knees and collapses. Cool. His crossbow flipping over the crow edge of the crow's nest, shattering on the deck below. Yeah, no, I, I, I poke him with my bow as my bonus action. Oh, you're touching him with your bow? Yep. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Alrighty. Next up is going to be Komatsume. Is he still alive, guy? <laughs> yeah, barely. He's hurting. Okay. Hopefully he won't do this. Yeah. Oh, that's... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> he's dead. Right. Who's next? Is there another one close by? <laughs> there are two more. We're gonna move, and there's the more closing on, in on you. That's another hit. Yeah, we're doing some damage. Not gonna use the key point for the double double flurry. <laughs> Not yet. That's fair. You don't get too many of those when you're low level. Exactly. Alrighty. Uh, no move action. Just to the closest guy. Guy. Alright. 
go back up to their turn. Hey, what do you Give me a flex checker, Lewis. This dude's trying to shake you. Lewis? Do, 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 do. No, he's still here. Roll for him. <laughs> he's gonna get salty if I roll for him. Unless you roll high. There you go. Oh, no. oh, wait. You guys didn't stop talking to myself? <laughs> you rolled a 17, so you rolled high. Hi. See? See? Yeah, so he's fine. <laughs> he's fine. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. One of the, the guy you just hit there, older, swings at you back. Yeah. Oh. Dealing five points of damage. Two more move in, and they're all missing you. You were quickly being surrounded. <laughs> there was a lot of dudes up here. There, do you do you need a hand? <laughs> I was about to say I'm I'm able to start shooting down now with yeah hey, you're going to start getting support now. Oh God, I'm gonna hit really hard. I'm definitely gonna hit him. Oh, I did my job. Shot. I got the captain. That's gonna be fun. You didn't get nothing off of him, by but the now way. Now I will definitely assist you as well. No, y'all, you have assistance. I'll go continue distracting the cannoneers. Brennan, did you pull any souvenirs oh, I got a plan from him? For that too. What, toss another alchemist fire down there? No, you don't have to. I'll be back. Without a captain, the ship can't fly. Oh, wait, I can go ahead and take over the ship. Yes, you can. Or Mirage can. Mirage is right there. Mirage can do it, or whoever that wants to do it can do it. I'm not sure what you're telling me here. Oh no! I, I just want to do that for posterity's sake. Like I'm like I'm <coughs> using the the telepathy to let the captain know. Which captain? The ex captain? No, our captain. You are. Well, I'm playing as him, but for posterity's sake, and you know, I just didn't want it to be like, oh, he didn't know, so he knows. Oh, oh, okay. I see what you're saying. God, you confused me for a second. I oh, know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Now, Brandon, do you want me to take over the ship? Or do you want to take over it yourself? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Give me a turn to think about it. Alright, that's fine. I'm going to continue my chaos like normal. Alright. Uh, next be your turn, Ayla. You, your dust devil still doing work upstairs? Yeah. And you're at the, uh, the, the rudder. Yeah. All right. You hear a scream far below you in the st through the through the thunder of the storm. I just kind of shrug. <laughs> Do I have to roll for damage? Uh, sorry. What are you attacking it with? Doing to well, the dust devil from one that turn ended. Oh yeah, you can go ahead and roll damage for that. All right. So, <laughs> we could be doing your action. All right. So I'm gonna kind of actually fly back up. And how far away am I from like the nearest cannon port? Because I'm assuming they have cannon ports on both sides. Actually, no. Really? You f really? I up on the other side. You there is no cannon. Huh. Any, the ship has a very glowing weakness on one side. <laughs> Blonde side. Well, I'm just gonna kind of keep flying up to the top, uh, up to the d uh, top deck, and when I within range, uh, I'm gonna fire off a ray of frost to somebody. All right, hey, I would say, well, what's your flight speed? Forty. 
40. I'll, I'll let you get ramp frost on. All right, cool. Whatever the near the near, uh, bad target is. All right, go ahead and roll the hit. Got him. And that's definitely a hit. And roll your damage from it there. Yeah, yeah. Three. Some reason on my sheet, I don't know how to fix that, but it says 1d8 minus 1. Oh. I don't know, I don't know how to Good look at it. Oh, plus strength. That's what it was. There it is. That. that yeah, there you go. All right, 1d8. Three cold damage, and they have to make a saving throw, I believe. Otherwise, oh, they are oh, they... reduced by five. Or something oh, like that. oh no! They just, lose, they just straight up lose ten feet of movement. Oh right. yeah, they all they just see if they lose ten feet of movement. No, there's no save. All right, if I hit, so do you just uh, creep hello? along? Hello, it's actually your turn, Lewis. Oh, it's my turn already. Yeah. All right. So what happened to dude? He tried to throw you off, but couldn't. So you're stuck on him good. I want to. I want to wrap around his neck and strangle the life out of him. So what do I roll for that? Uh, give me a strength check. A strength check or athletic check? This is gonna be a pure strength check. <laughs> Dear Lord, Jesus, <laughs> it's unfortunate that that's a check, but Jesus Christ, <laughs> God damn. That's a strength check. That's a strength check. That's a strength check. He that twenty, like yeah, fuck, yeah, man. Do like you hear? <laughs> I and nothing as the man nice. drops into the deck. You definitely crushed his larynx. There's, you're basically rubbing against his spine now. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna whisper, shh, shh, it's all over now. It's all over. It's all over. <laughs> Hold on, I'm on, I'm on this. Uh, what is that for? That was just that was to just see what happened, because I hit the wrong one. Well, yeah, I mean, I, 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 you, you have advantage, yeah, because you're raging. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what do you call it, uh, use my moving speed to slither off and <laughs> sneak around to another one. There's another dude staring at you, bank face. Okay, I'm gonna wrap Like he's trying to him. process what's going on. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly wrap around him with my moving speed. All right, so you're getting cl you're moving to him, and I'm gonna use a bonus. Can I use a bonus action to do anything? No, he's just he. If he tries to run from you, you'll get a free attack against him. Okay. Okay. He just, he just watches friend's throat get <laughs> crushed by a rope, a sentient rope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In the arms of an angel. <laughs> At this point, wouldn't it be the arms of a mimic? <laughs> In the arms oh, of a nozzle. Mimic. It's nozzle. In the arms of a nozzle. Fly away. Alright, you're not a bard. Alright, your turn, Brandon. Uh, no. Sin I no. made a, Louis, I made a promise that I would one. not sing. <laughs> Alright. What did you say, Oler? I'm oh, not all say anything. Back to the top, kitty cat. Catten. Catten. No, Louie, you uh, should have been a bard mimic. A bard pilot mimic. himself around, start heading back. Flash. Flash roll. The enemy ship has lost a lot of speed. Seems to be kind of drifting. Yep. In that case, uh, since my crew is manning the all the other stuff, I'm just going to go with a flat piloting roll. Hey, Kurt. Question, real quick. Real quick. <laughs> how long takes me to shift, and how small can I get? Um, uh, I'm not glad you get ridiculously small. I want to crawl into his mouth. That's really gross. <laughs> but you also methods. let him digest an orc. Yeah, because it's a mimic. That's what they do. 
I'm gonna go into his throat. He's trying to learn how to make I'm going to the inside. Oh, this is gross. You know what? You're technically a throat now. You could probably someone start if he lets you, which he's. I was gonna quick shift into like. But like a tiny ooze and like slither down his throat real quick. I was gonna say at this point he he's kind of gasping for air, so his mouth's wide open. Oh, that guy! No, that guy's isn't dead. His throat is crushed. Ah, there is no life left for him. GG. Oh, Louis, Louis, Louis. cheating. Would you let me crawl <laughs> all this dead corpse and control it from the inside? No, <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't mimic like form into every crevice of his body and just move around. No, a corpse. Why not? Because it's not how it works. It could work like that if you let it. <laughs> no, it can't. The best you can do is turn into a statue of him with his skin draped over you. <laughs> I think it that works out better. It puts the lotion on his skin, or else it gets the hose again. Why? Uh, uh, mimic skinwalker. <laughs> All right, Mirage. Uh, as soon as I, I realize, I'm gonna peek over the edge, watch the captain for a second falling, and I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna look at the Oni, and I'm gonna cast Sleep centered on him, but not targeting him. <laughs> Can you target Sleep? Yeah. Um. Actually, yes. Um. You have the option to choose who who you target, and it just goes from lowest hit points there. I got you. Let me make sure I'm, I'm telling you right here. I don't want to tell you wrong. Because if that's the case, I'll just move the target bubble back some. It just says creatures. It does just say creatures. Uh, so... Maybe right, not so. do that. Yeah, maybe not center it on the Oni. Um, I'll do it. Put the Oni at yeah, right. Put the Oni yeah. at twenty-one feet okay. from the center of it. So he's just outside, or she's just outside the range. Good idea. Good idea. Roll points. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm casting this as a second level. So slash roll seventy-eight. Thirty people or thirty hit points go to thirty sleep. people. No, 30, thirty people. 30, 30 people. The one the Oni was fighting, he hit. She hit. Plus one of the guys beside him pass out. I'm dead. Just kind of, I'm holding up my hand in my hand, and I kind of look at them as they flop. Pathetic. And they they get they're dangerously close to the atmosphere on the, the, the deck that's burning through into the bottom. By the way. Yeah, that's why I was I was trying to end that quickly because if they're asleep, I'm not worried about them. <clears throat> All right, you, you can do that. Uh, yeah, hold on. Okay. Uh, all right, who all can I see right now? I can see Wade. I can see the Oni. Me. I can see the Mimic. Can I see you? Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. Kyrie, or uh, Alo popped over to the side there. All right, so then I'm going to immediately assume a very wondrous appearance uh, as a bonus action, of course. Um, I'm going to assume a wondrous appearance. I kind of start glowing like a sparkly purplish color. And each of you, it'll be the Oni, it'll be uh, Kyrie, it'll be uh, Nazul, and Alo. All of you gain five temporary hit points. Ooh. Oh, wait, no, hold on. I can't do that much. Hold on. I'm lying. Uh, three of you, so I'm going to choose to do the Oni, uh, Kyrie, and the Mimic. Uh, because I can only yep. do three. Sorry, uh, sorry, Tyler. Uh, each of you guys... You know, it makes sense. I was going to offer not to be the one to get it. Yeah, you gain five temporary hit points, and uh, you can immediately use a reaction to move up to your speed without provoking attacks of opportunity. Nice. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna stand here and shoot them. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna say this to the dude. Oh my god. <laughs> As I'm in his throat, I'm gonna be like, Omeawa, Mo Shindu. It's not a meme. 
Kurt, it's a I'm meme, sure. all of you. That, well, yes, it is a meme, but this one is actually irrelevant. He has a yeah, it's still a meme. Anyway. The Harvey Valentine's Day killer. I'm just kidding. Alright. So, uh, you going at, at AZ1? No, uh, not yet. You, Lewis, are you playing the move action? Oh, I can move now? Uh, without my, without my you got turn. free move from Brandon. I'm going to slither around <laughs> him, and I'm going to crawl <laughs> into his mouth and turn into a little slime. Is this dead person or the live person? The live person. Okay. Why he's just sitting there like zoned out for me, just like brutally crushing his best buddy's throat. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna crawl Kyrie. Kyrie. Yeah. It's your turn. Oh. Your bow uh, starts pulsing with energy. <laughs> um. Feels a little gross and icky to be honest, but. Uh, who do I? How many people are down below me? There are a grand total. Let me see. What would that be? Would that be just, just well? No, there'd be two less. So there's nine it's left. Well, actually, two are unconscious. So it's technically seven standing. Uh. I'll go for one of the healthier looking ones, I guess is the best way to put it. Alright, you going to fight one of the ones around the or one of the ones running the Oni? Let's help out the Oni. Alrighty, roll to hit. You have advantage, high ground. Technically, wouldn't I have. Oh no, I don't know. Actually, no, my bow wouldn't give me double advantage, would it? No. Okay, uh. Score. Hey, Wade. Why? Don't forget your sniper feet. Sharp, sharp for the win. What's it do? Minus five to hit, plus ten to damage. God. Yep. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's definitely a miss. Although you have a the advantage. The advantage if you, are you using your sniper feet? So, yeah. That's a hit with advantage. <laughs> I must say, what, what is it Grim Longbow has again that Plus two. makes it so special? Yeah. Plus two. Alright. Uh, let's see, so now I'm going to roll damage. Yes, you are. Plus twelve, whatever you roll. So yeah. And you can also redesignate him. Yeah, yeah you sure? Why not? He's your prey now. Go ahead and draw yeah. a dexter beast. Yeah, just for the all that extra damage. See, that's that's what I thought I was gonna do with him. So plus one d six. Yep. This is gonna hurt him. I mean, you ain't wrong. The arrow you launch seems to grow through his right shoulder and his left hip. Oh! <laughs> Sticking into the backboards below as he crumples. Good lord. <laughs> dude. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Love this. And sadly, that has to be my actual last turn because my phone is in the single digits. So, yeah. I'm going to have to dip out so what's the roll for maybe my guess just please don't get me killed <laughs> All right. don't, don't it's getting late it. you want to just kind of tied down for now I mean I mean a lot of dude in the morning yeah it's almost it's about 12 yeah yeah you want to kind of I mean they hate doing middle of combat but we kind of know what's going on well, technically, if uh, if Captain 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 is dead, the combat would be over. Oh, it's a surrender, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because it's rolling out, isn't it? Yeah. And I'm also going to take over the ship. It's burning. Badly burning. Just yeah, no, hard. it's there's, there's, there's holes going through it now. All right, let us do a, a scavenge run, and then we can call it a night from there.
Wait, 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 wait. I can actually do that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's get. Let's take a cannon or two. Or two. <laughs> Cannons are very, very heavy. <laughs> they are. Yeah, but we can probably at least take them off the mounting and push them through onto our deck. Maybe. But I can always build new mountings for them. Yeah. Well, there's also the risk of them through the deck if you're not careful. True. That's why we have Lewis the Rope. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, the Oni could probably lift one, to be honest. How heavy are they? <laughs> Let me see. Let's find out where it is. Unless it's not popping up. Um. Yeah. Jesus. So they Jesus. What? <laughs> don't don't look on on the wiki for how much do cannons weigh? Because <laughs> the cannon wiki says that they can weigh they weigh up to three hundred three thirty four hundred pounds. What? That's ridiculous. Yeah. Wow. That's not even realistic. No, it's very realistic, but those are the ones that are on giant wheels. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe a pirate's cannon? It's a 12-pound cannon is what they're called. Oh, okay, so that's not too bad. Then. No, they don't weigh 12 pounds. They're shooting I know. Oh, I know. Still, that's ridiculous. Let's see. I'm trying to find so I can pick up about four hundred pounds. Which if I think with a multiple people assisting you with that, you might be able to carry one safely. Well hold on, technically we're we're taking the ship back with us. So no, we're not. Just, we're not? It's burning to a crisp. With, with alchemist fire, we will never be able to save this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the helm! Fuck the cannon! Save the helm! Yeah, oh, wait. Yeah, gotta take the, the gem out of the helm. Oh. Oh, that was like the one thing that we we didn't think we could do because it weighed so much, and it was extremely extremely hard to get out. Well, you can actually shatter the wood underneath it and get it off that way. Yeah, just take the helm. Yeah, just, I was gonna say. Take, try to take the helm if you guys can. If we can, um, I'm going down to the kitchen and to the captain's quarters. I'm going to loot both of those. Okay. What do I'll loot the, uh, the uh, helm, and then we'll have to get back to ship because it's by this point if if it's starting to burn through the hole. Damn it. Yeah, so, from what I'm looking about, with the mount, it looks like it's weighed about 800 pounds for the cannon. Yeah. Done? Well, maybe we'll get cannons later. So. Oh, I did the mount wrong. Oh, would you? I have 800 pounds. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Oh, yeah. you can lift 800 pounds. Yeah, I have 400 pounds Four. of carry weight, and then I get and then I get <laughs> to push, drag, or lift. <laughs> so you could hoist a cannon. Take it take a single cannon and then come back for the the gym. Just take the gym. Alright, All right, yeah. I'm gonna start hacking away at the uh just kinda of using my dagger. I won't probably be doing much at all, but basically just trying to start breaking the helm all right. at the gym. Uh see let's see. Actually, no, I'll fly over and get my harps. I'll get, get a saw. May not have time for that. Oh, you're right. That's why I'm saying, like, if, if we're going to do it, you got to, like, literally just bust through it. and. I'm busting through. I'm starting to bust through right now. now. He, how many well, pirates uh, are left? They all surrendered. Oh, I do want to ask something. 
The uh, crystal, that's what's making the ship float, right? Yes. So wouldn't we need to damage the crystal for the ship to fall? No. No? 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 The ship, no, no. It, there's two There's two things that can make the ship fall. Number one, it loses its cap, which it did. Number two, if it takes enough damage, which it is. Yeah. Okay. So and, temp and I've temporarily become his captain. So we have to be quick, fast, and in a hurry to get the gym out, get whatever we're looting from the place, and get out of there. Uh, so they surrendered. <laughs> yes. Am I still uh, in the mouth of the one dude? <laughs> I oh shit! I cannot break this thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let me give it a shot. Give me a strength check, Luke. Me? Yeah. Oh god, I do it. You're still raging, so you're forcing yourself into the mouth of this man who's surrendering. <laughs> <laughs> Louie, ch chest burster. I'm going to morph it I'm going to morph into an yes, air horn in his throat. She does. There's no such thing as air horns back then. Well he's going to invent one and then go. Okay. 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 I'm gonna turn it into a trumpet in his throat. Okay. Helping with the helm. Right, right. You shatter wood underneath the helm and the whole ship yeah, starts yeah. to fall. Quickly. I'm flying back to the ship. Oh, oh there's yes, yes. <laughs> the mimic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run over and grab the mimic and start flying away. Just like grab him by the, grab the end of the rope and just start pulling. <laughs> That's a lot of weight. Uh, Mimic, are you gonna let go of the man you have in your mat inside? Yourself inside. Would it cause problems for Tyler? <laughs> it would, yes. His strength is very low. I'll go and help. Oh, wow, I did Oh, wow. God. I did it really well! Well, before, can I do an attack roll real quick? Before I do it? Before he does it? He does it. Sure. Yeah. I'm going to bite the inside of his throat and then let go. Good. Give the advantage. Uh, I hate to say it, but I gotta dip out. So Sorry, right, right, see you later. Right, Four piercing to one acid. <laughs> Just bit the inside of his mouth. Oh, you rolled minimum damage on that both times. That's unfortunate. But it's poison acid, so it kind of melts his throat a little bit. I'll let go and I'll let Tyler drag me away. Sorry. <laughs> hey, Kurt. Yeah, Kurt. Yeah. Um, he may is coming down to where I am. All right. Uh, I'm gonna grab one. Hang on. How many things is he made doing? I don't know. He may have she, she's moving the cannon and then grabbing the helm. She won't have right, time right, to. Yeah. Okay. As soon as she gets the helm, the ship is going. All right, then I'm going to grab the uh, the as much of the the first one as I can, and just running. I'm just going to fill my little pockets and run. <laughs> All Because I mean, I won't have. I won't be able to carry. I don't know. I mean, just out of shits and giggles, would I be able to carry it? No. No. <laughs> no there's no way. Even with the plus one from frickin' Jack, Jack <laughs> no, no. You like grab it, you know what, never mind. Just start filling my pockets and running. Yes. You hear the crack as the only breaks the helm. <laughs> is the I thing held in the helm. Look up at the hole in, my, in the ceiling. Fuck. <laughs> run! Yep, just, I'm just gonna grab what I can and run. Alrighty. Guys, all managed to make it safely back to your ship. Lewis has suited. You see the mimic colored chewing on of the dude that he entered. I just literally the moment we get on, like the, uh, as soon as I know it's safe to drop him, I just drop him like a rock and just <laughs> fall the fuck away. I transform into a parachute, like real close to that. No, that Lewis, I'm fall. dropping you like from like five feet from the in the air, over the deck, onto our deck. Onto it, yeah. I turn into a pillow. I mean, you're you're pretty hollow still. <laughs> it's full of bricks. <laughs> oh man. 
You notice that the, the, uh, the non-essential crew on your ship managed to take a couple prisoners from the enemy ship. Yeah, 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 yeah. That you have, they have three humans that they put down there with the elf. Oh, that'll go well. What happened to homeboy, <laughs> the abbot? I think the homeboy that you bit is probably is, dead. Dead. You have tongue. You have tongue. Yeah, you made out with him. Happy birthday, Louie. <laughs> going to set the helm beside the other helm. Conk. How many helms do we have? Two now. Oh, the cannon's on the middle deck in case anybody wants to move it. It slides slightly, slightly as the ship starts to move. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> we gotta get that thing anchored and anchored quick. Do anybody still need her loot? <clears throat> I was trying to get stuff from the kitchen. Sorry. Nah, it's it's nice. Why don't yeah, we destroy no, the crystal? Job, my, yeah, I want to get that helm because I know that's cash money. How much is a helm? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make you do a sneak check for this. Uh huh. Give me a sneak check. Yep. Okay. As, as Ross again, no, I just went. Is there empty? Shink, 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 shink. I'm just like walking back on the ship, and just like all you see is like my super baggy pants are just like. Jingling ever oh. so very much. I just gotta look over you and giving you give you a knowing glare. Yes, I'm actually wearing pants this time. Well, no, I kind of point to the bulge. I'm like, I do not think you're a man. <laughs> I tend to try to steal a one gold penny. <laughs> uh, what am I opposing that with? Uh, it's perception, I think. Yeah. Smack it oh. I smack your little tendril. Do not try to touch me. Stop hogging all the loot then. Jingles away. Shink, <laughs> shink, shink. I will split no. it with you all if you do not try to touch me. <coughs> Jesus. Why no, so I, I, I not touch you. I'm not gonna touch you. Not without your permission, of course. You're such a but... drama queen. And you're a little slimy bitch. It says the bird oh, bitch. No. I always have claws out. Uh, you can just set it down. Uh, set the boat. We're gonna take it below deck. I'm gonna take a look at Tippy it and see if we can down, find a good spot for it. I have the cannon back up on both shoulders and take it downstairs. <laughs> thump, thump, thump. <laughs> like drop it like here. Just right in front of the gold dragon, born there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And then we, of course, we can get some uh. Gunpowder and uh, ammunition when we get to sh uh, port. You should turn it into a fire spitter. I probably could. I'll see what I'll see what I hear. A large explosion from the ship <laughs> below you as the alchemist fire reaches the stores of gunpowder. Oops. Oh well. All right, Kurt. I'm gonna go down to the kitchen. And start divvying up the gold, and then I'll bring it to everybody, uh, personally, so that they can have their share of the wealth. Alrighty. How about you again? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it to you, and then I'm gonna send it to what I'm gonna send to, to them. So, so I'm gonna, first to you. おめえは死んでいる。何？えっおめえは死んでいる。like, Dude, I guess you saw. Did you see that animation? Yes. <laughs> I didn't want to believe it was that true, but but <laughs> Jeebus, I thought I was doing great. I had him 
was beating him up, and then did a dive bomb, and I was probably halfway across the room and died. <sighs> like, I wasn't under you, I wasn't in your path of descent, but I still died. So, the second time it happened, I was closer when I died, and I realized that he shoots off all of his porcupine quills. Yeah. So if that's anything like, you know, spread shot or piercing ammo, of course it hurts. I got more. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and whisper this out to them. Okay. Alrighty. So you guys managed to make way a little bit in, a little in the way of supply, but you did kill the enemy's head, which is where the money's at. Are we going Chill. to take a rest? In between. <laughs> Actually, you're going, uh, you're going to be coming to port very soon, here in a few hours, but you can oh. briefly. Sweet. Wait, how much gold did we get for last time? Uh... How much was it? Did you guys uh, get something? Uh, we got 150 for the, the mission itself, or for turning in the ship, and then we got 16 for what we divided up. I just, so, gonna, like, I just give you a nod. So how much would that be with the 31 I already have? Anybody good at math? 197. You'd have 197 plus minus, minus 25. Minus, yeah, minus 25, 25 for the thing. tooth. So, 172. Okay. Yeah, I'll give you guys a short rest before you get to the next port. Oh, my helmet. Did we level up? No, I was healing. Oh, yeah. And I'm actually, in the meantime, I'm just going to go up to the rigging and just kind of go around the ship, just mending and just healing it up. Good call. The rigging did take some damage. Yeah, not much, though, because the cat messed up a little bit. The, the, the come alongside maneuver. Yeah. Co cat in there. Cat is awful quiet. <laughs> That's all I get. I'm just giving you a hard time. It's hard to do both, and my wife is sleeping, okay? <laughs> I should be sleeping soon. She said y'all were nerds. I don't think mine's sleeping. I think she's laying on the couch and her phone. <laughs> on 9gag or Facebook or something. So, I remember asking you at the beginning about, you know, carry weight and encumbrance. And I was like, I was worried. I'm not worried now. <laughs> I never did the math for it. <clears throat> yeah, that that heavy build is terrifying. <laughs> it's worse if you go uh, bear barbarian because it gets doubled again. Because that's what uh, that's what Tyler did on his uh, he did Goliath barbarian bear bear barbarian. Oh God, no! I, it, it was it was, it was Orgas, the whiz. I am a wizard. Yeah, he is a wizard. He cast punch and I fit, rage. Fit. I kick magic. I'm pretty sure he had straight 18s for his strength and constitution. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, and I, nothing higher than his sick in any 20s. of his other scrolls. No, no, straight 20s. It was 20, 20, 20, 5, 6, 7. Those were my stats. Because I legitimately rolled two 18s. And, Br and I have witnesses. Brandon was one of them. <laughs> mm -hmm. And his other three rolls were like all below six, so it's fine. No, well, I, well, actually, I actually rolled God tier stat. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's like, right. That was like a 14 or a 15, actually. But I'm like, you know what? If I have all yeah. these, I'm going to make my deliberately lower my other stats yeah. to stupid levels. Because that would be overpowered as hell. Are we done for tonight? Pretty much. Yeah, once you've got your gold from Mirage.
I have my gold. I think everybody but the captain has theirs, and I'm actually going to send him his now. Which, what is, what is label? Oh, he's labeled as John on here. Yeah, because he... No, is well, he? Well, I mean, since he's not actually on, it won't let me uh, instant message Lawrence. Oh, oh yeah. So, yeah. I'm going to PM John and let him know. We have two helms, Ready. a cannon, four prisoners, cargo heading somewhere else. Now, are we good guys or bad guys or just kind of neutral with the boys? We are neutral. 100% neutral at How the moment. We, if, what, do, what do we do exactly with our prisoners if we can't give them to, like, authorities or something? Well... Considering that the the prisoners that we have are currently listed as pirates, well, <laughs> okay. And the ones that are not, well, fuck them. We kill them. Yeah. yeah. yeah I was gonna say, it's been, it's been giving it three eyes for the past hour. I was about to say, I'm like, how do you guys feel if we just sold them into slavery? I mean, it's terrible, but I'm like, you know what? We're evil. We're not. No. Yeah. <laughs> Mirage would definitely oppose that. Fair enough. Yeah, and he may will uh, lean towards whatever Mirage decides. No, I was just, this is just me, just, I've never really played a pure evil character or like that, so I'm like, just thought of my, like, you know what? Oh, they're, I mean, oh, they're, money, money, they're, dead. they're dead. It work. If no one takes them, they're dead. <laughs> yeah. As disgusting as the mimic is, he needs to eat. Yeah. And yes. Yeah. Mm, yeah. My <laughs> mimic, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody should have their money now. Send it to them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my! Oh Domo, domo, domo. So is this it for our session? Yep, that'll be it. Hot yeah. rod, von here. Next time we'll do port stuff because you guys seem to enjoy port on last time. It was fun. It was silly. It was you're gonna, you're gonna see two recurring characters at this port. Oh, is it One-Eyed Pete? Crazy-Eyed Pete will be there. Confirmed. I, I, Pete is there. I have a feeling, no matter what happens, every time I see him, I might just have to buy an item off him. <laughs> just uh, because. The other character is also going to be beating you there, so this is going to be fun. What's the other character? Surprise. You'll find out Surprise. the next time. Uh, next I next I episode on Trap Ball Z. That's our tall, dog, handsome fellow. <laughs> <clears throat> How many people can I like grapple at once? What? One, unfortunately. Ooh. If he was a Marilith, could he grapple? <laughs> a what? A Marilith. A Marilith. They have, they have uh, six, arm, arms? six arms, four arms, six, six arms. arms. Snake tail. I can only grapple no. one. Um, Even if I turn into a rope and like wrapped around like each one of the prisoners' necks. No, you could only grapple. I think you can uh, focus on one as the point. No, technically, technically, by rules, as long as you have, and I quote, a free hand, you can, you can grapple as many people as you have free hands. Well, that's the funny part hands. because he does, he can grapple without hands. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. That that's the technicality part of it. So, I mean, he could probably grapple a good number of people if he was like a rope. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna turn into a giant sea slug. <laughs> Jack, did you get your message? Uh, from you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. About Just the, making sure. About, the, about what you gave me? Yeah. Yeah. Question. If I turn into a spiked or bladed object, do, am I sharp or am I gooey? You're still kind of gooey. But I'd be sharp, though, in some cases. Your bite is sharp, but other than that, you're, you're just kind of gooey. So if I turn into a sword, I'd just be a gooey sword? I wouldn't be like a sharp sword? No, you'd be a gooey sword. That makes me sad, because I was going to go inside people and turn into blades and stuff, and like turn into a spear and like spear them through. I don't, you would be dead. By the time, they would be dead by the time you reached their stomach. I could strangle them from the inside. Alan gave Alan. me the idea. He told me to climb up in their butt and turn into a spear. <laughs> I just, I can imagine some someone reverse 
Squatting back up there. Uh, why won't you let me do this? Uh, I'm being creative. creative here. It's so gross. It no, you know what? Go ahead. I was like crawling that dude's mouth. I want to hear it. Yeah, but you won't let me turn into a bladed weapon to kill him. What if I turn into a spike ball? I mean, you have teeth. You can just fucking don't let him from the inside. Can I use my teeth as blades or spikes? You could pull. You could pull a alien move and build their chest. Rift to the chest. <laughs> Dreamcat. What is Dreamcat? Dreamcat. That's beautiful. That actually reminds me of a uh, Flash game I played on the internet a while ago. I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> yes! Okay, good. I'm glad you know which one I'm talking about. <laughs> that actually makes that me really is. happy that you know. I remember what it was called, but I know what you're talking about. That you killed, you got powers from. That one, and there's also one... It's, yeah, they killed stuff, but then um, they also had a, uh, a point-click adventure series with it. Yes. Where you're two other people going through this and these... I want to find. I know. It's on, I know. I can find it on Congregate easily. Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah.